Okay, guys. Uh, so we have been talking about Salmonella uh, species. We have seen the introduction, infection, as well as we have discussed about uh, the Salmonella uh, pathogenesis processes. Now, in this video, we'll be talking about Salmonella treatment. So we'll be talking about treatment. Now, the important thing about Salmonella treatment. In fact, uh, important thing about all the other enteric infections, uh, which uh, eventually results in gastroenteritis. Gastroenteritis usually won't require any kind of uh, antibiotic treatment usually so antibiotic so antibiotic treatment usually is not not required but what we require in all these cases but what we require in all these cases is good personal hygiene so it's obviously prevention is better prevention is really really better for this case so in this case of prevention what we require we require uh, handling handling of food properly right and the second important thing we need to look for is is <coughs> sorry sewage disposal sewage disposal and perfect or correctly mannered sewage disposal this is also required and also personal hygiene personal hygiene okay so these are the three major things that are required for any kind of gastroenteritis because here we are talking about the agents causing gastroenteritis so gastro gastro sorry gastro enteritis enteritis okay so in any kind of gastroenteritis you generally don't require uh, much more attention using antibiotics simply these prevention measures help us but if it is doing any kind of harm uh, we are seeing that infections become severe and severe in those cases we can use uh, some kind of antibiotics we can use some antibiotics and on those antibiotics that we can use simply one of the example is safe triaxone safe triac and also ciprofloxacin ciprofloxacin okay so these are the two important antibiotics that we can use to treat salmonella infection especially salmonella typhi infections okay using ceftriaxone which is a third generation cephalosporin so it's actually third generation cephalo Sporin, okay, and ciprofloxacin. We all know it's a kind of fluoroquinolone, I guess. Okay, so these are the antibodies that you can use. But remember these three things: handling of food, you should be well, and obviously sewage disposal should be perfect, and personal hygiene definitely required because most of this kind of gastroenteritis infections occur in third world countries or the developing countries. In those cases, they are poor hygiene, and obviously. Uh, sewage uh, problems and uh, sanitary system is not good so, you know, all, due to all these different reasons so actually these diseases are also related with socio-economical conditions so you need to take, uh, take care of all these things first because it will give us healthy nation right so for a healthy nation you should maintain all these necessary facts as a prevention measure in all kind of gastroenteritis including the gastroenteritis caused by salmonella species so that's about the treatment and I hope that's helpful thank you